What is going on guys, DBG here and new decent packs are released so it's going to be a new decent video um, based on the pack opening. So I'm going to be in this video going over these packs and telling you guys if they're worth it or not. Well not even if they're worth it or not, just showing you guys exactly what we get from packs. So I'm going to be opening 1 million MT worth of these packs and I just want to see if obviously you can get anything out of it. So. If you guys don't know that these um, cards here were glitched for like the first 20 minutes. So you can't expect 2k to release a pack without the pack being like completely, completely glitched. For some reason, oh my god, we started off with a diamond. We started off with, please be, we started off with James Harden. We actually started off with James Harden. Okay, so... I'm guessing that because we all saw the um, the pack odds because they had to release it with the Google Stadia. So we all saw what the pack odds are. And we all did also see the fact that they said they can literally adjust the pack odds at any time. So you never know. 2K might completely be juiced in packs. But uh, again, this could be like when I was... What was I going to say? When I was... Come on, finish the sentence. I'm struggling. Um, opening packs for the Isaiah Thomas ones where I pulled like two Joe Dumars in like five packs and then I ended up going like 600k pulling literally nothing so that's the type of thing that's so common in this like obviously two good hats in a row that's gonna happen I'm not really bad by things like that and also I want to see what the reward is for like I don't lock in any of these collections I don't unless the collections rewards for unless it's for a player I'm not gonna lock in anything it's only 50 tokens, so not a chance. Not a chance I'm locking in anything. But, um, yeah, so, like, pack odds they haven't been absolutely terrible, but, like, again, it's just not worth it. Because like, if you guys are watching my No Money Spend series, there are cards you can get for 10k, 15k, and way cheaper. Like, the best cards in my No Money Spend squad are 10, 15k. And there's so many like really cheap cards that are really, really good in this game. So yeah, I just I just think no question about it, there is a lot of great alternatives for pretty much every single expensive card. Like, sure, Harden's great. Like Harden is gonna be really good. Guys like Rashad Lewis are gonna be really good. But again then again, like Hita Turkle Chandler Parsons are like cheaper versions of the Rashad Lewis. Obviously, I definitely would take a Shad Lewis over them because he can speed boost and he's got range extender. But there are a lot of really, really good cards. So, why do we keep pulling Marcin Gortat? It's just always, it's just always Gortat. We are through 100k and more than, like, fair enough, I got Harden. But more than 50% of my packs have been Gortat. Okay, we got Redick. Like, I already have him. But JJ Redick is going to be a really, really solid card. Like, he's not going to take that much effort to evo up to a ruby. Trust me. And he's going to be an absolute sniper. We got Jameer Nelson, who, again, who I already bought a bomb for, like, 6k. Um, just to check out his evo stats for my, like, worth of video. Jameer Nelson is going to be good. But only with Nelson. Nelson, you really need to get him up to a diamond or amethyst for him to be really good. And I don't see myself doing that because I'm not much of an evo grinder. I might buy one. But, uh... Yeah, he, he needs to be kind of evoed up a little bit to be good. Whereas someone like a Re Redick and Hito kind of get good um, at a low evo. But uh, yeah, so pretty much I'm going to leave it here until I get an Amethyst or higher. And then we are going to... Um... Okay, we got an Amethyst straight away. The Curse of the Commentator. Um, I'm trying to think what Amethysts are good. Magic? Who's this again? Two guard. Oh, Vince. Vince is really not good. Yeah, like, he, he should, like, you'd think Vince Carter would be good, but it seems like they didn't want to completely render the other one useless. The, um, Ruby one that you get from starter packs. So, like, this Vince really, just badges-wise, no range extender, no quick draw, no quick first step. So, none of those badges. We got Hito Turkoglu. Unfortunately, Hito Turkoglu is not a base 11. His release is still really good, though. No quick draw, but that's fine. But the biggest thing, no range extender. But the whole thing with Hito is, he still has the leaner. So that is going to definitely be a gameplay video today. 
I take leaners with Hito. I don't know what I've got to call it, but... Oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun year. I was getting withdrawal symptoms from Hito, and... We're going to be out here taking leaners with him anyway. Okay, Antoine Jameson. That's the first time we've gotten... Oh, no, we already have him. Antoine Jameson, again, if they give him quick draw, it would be good, because he does a base 11, but they didn't give him quick draw. So... Again, now we are going to go on until we get a Amethyst or higher, and I will be back in a few minutes. Well, hopefully, in the next few minutes. I think I went 400k or something without getting an Amethyst in my last pack opening, so you just never know. Oh, unreal. Unreal. Another diamond card. That is James Harden, I think. Yeah, because I think he is the only diamond. So we managed to pull another James Harden, which is good. So I'm going to put him up on the auction house. I want to check what price he's going for first because Sam player my auctions. The question is, I don't know if he's going for more or less than 100k. So... Search auctions, theme, spotlight, Dwight Howard, color, not pink diamond. Richard Lewis, 600K! 200K for Harden. Okay. So Harden is definitely off for under 100K now. I don't know who bid 200K on him initially. Okay, so I guess I can get 95K ish for him. Which is good money. There's a good amount of MT. So let's put him up for. Uh, let's just sell him quick. Put him way cheaper. So yeah, not as much as I would have hoped for. But again, better than nothing. So I can't complain too much. Now we're going to wait again until we get an Amethyst or higher. Okay, we got an Amethyst. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any other Amethyst except for Vince Carter? Rockets. It is point guard? Who's this again? Oh, CP3, that's who it is. That's not a bad... I don't know again really what, except for the fact that they were like, both planning to go into the Lakers. What we all real like, linked the two of those guys have to each other. But, um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's not a bad bull. So we've actually done quite well so far through the first 400 or so K. Okay? We've pulled pretty much everyone except for Richard Lewis. And we've also pulled two James Harden. So like, I know obviously it would be probably cheaper to just buy all of these. But the one that I really do want is Richard Lewis. Because I think he's a fantastic card. He's going to be like one of my starters. So I really do want that card. And don't want to have to get into bidding wars with people for him. Because I think he is going to be... An incredible, incredible card this year in my team. So, all right, no real, nothing really since then. But to be fair, like there is only a certain amount of cards we can get. So again, I'll be back when we get an amethyst or higher. Oh, we got it. Come on, like, again, Harden, great pull. I just really want that pink diamond. I really want that pink diamond. So we've managed to get three diamonds so far in 500 or so, okay, which, like, look, that's not bad. Like, I, I know Harden is going to be, like, moderately cheap, like, in comparison to some of the other cards I could pull, but... Like, that is not too bad. And I also want to check if color, pink, diamond, theme, spotlight, Dwight Howard. Because you may not actually need him to... No, he's not to complete the challenges for Blake Griffin. So, James Harden, guessing the other one sold. 
91650. There we go. And not unlimited. Pack market. And let's go back into packs. So, other than Dwight Howard, like, I probably just, like, I'm honestly probably just thinking of quick sell on all the other cards. Because I don't think any of the other ones are really that great, to be honest. But, uh, like, we have been opening packs for probably 20 or so minutes now, judging by the length of recording here. And we've done all right. Like, we have done all right. There is no question about that. We have actually, this one the better. Oh, I didn't realize they had the PlayStation PG2s. What are these? These these aren't real shoes. Oh, I know. Like this is not what the PlayStation PG twos look like. Where the black is, they had like PlayStation logos and stuff, and there was no orange in the middle, or an orange or pink or salmon, whatever color that is. I'm color blind in the middle of the shoe. Um, that wasn't there. So yeah, um, that's kind of weird seeing those shoes in the game. Didn't really know. Didn't know they existed. But um, yeah, so far. So far, it looks, it looks been all right. It looks been all right. Um, cannot complain so far. While the pack odds are in general horrendous, like I'm gonna make a loss. I have only profited once ever, and that was the three pages to Yakovic one video, where so far this year, every time I've opened a million MT worth of packs, I've made a loss. So it just shows that packs aren't great. But again, like if you open five packs, you probably have a, you're probably gonna lose maybe five or six KMT, or probably gonna lose maybe 10 KMT through five packs, 10, 15 K, um, and then you're probably going to, um, the odd time you're gonna get a good card. So a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I opened one pack and got a card. Like, yeah, there's a chance of that, but it is pure luck. It is pure luck and the odds are stacked against you. Like these cards, you could probably sell these cards if you really put your, put your mind to it in these packs for, I don't know, like five, six K. So you're probably losing an average of maybe five K a pack at least for 90% of the packs. And then there's that one pack where you end up making a profit. So yeah, um, I just don't think that packs are the wave ever in NBA 2K, but obviously it is a, it is an addiction for people. It is something people like to open, and thankfully, I'm not. I just kind of open it to try to get some of the cards. There's no real, uh, there's no real thrill in opening packs for me, thankfully. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna again go and see if we can get an Amethyst higher. And, and not like, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'll take a James Harden. We got our fourth James Harden of the video of the pack opening. And it's just unfortunate that we couldn't have made one of those. Uh, Richard Lewis. So, Sam player to auctions. I think it was it. I remember I discarded a Joe Dumas card, and I was just like, oh, will I, um, and in the next pack, I pulled a dime, so I was like, I might discard him to, uh, sacrifice him to the 2K gods, so, let's put up Harden for, I just want to get rid of him quick, so, I'm not really that full, so I put him up first, so, a little bit less than that, put him for that, you should sell quick enough, so, we are down to our last, like, 15 or so packs, and sure, it's been all right. Like I can't complain. Four James Hardens, they're probably selling for around 100k. I'd say when when it's all said and done, this has not been a bad pack opening. I think if I had a gun and actually sold my players instead of discarded them all, um, and including the cards I did pull, it's probably I probably got about 800k worth out of all my players. Which is not bad, which is a not bad return. Like, actually no, like, if you're looking at like normal return for investment, that's terrible. I mean, considering how much 2K screws you, I didn't get screwed that bad. You know this case where it's like, I pulled four diamond cards and I still made a loss. And I pulled four really good diamond cards. Harden is really good. So, yeah, that's just, that's just NBA 2K20 and that's just 
2K and FIFA packs, anything in general. At least we're not playing FIFA. It means at least you have a chance getting a card. He's FIFA, like, it could take you 15 minutes to get an 85 overall card. Then that's 15 minutes of mindlessly opening packs. Like, it's crazy. There's so many cards in that game. Like, whatever about 2K packs not being worth it, FIFA packs definitely are not worth it. Like, that is, like, crazy how much they are completely not worth it. But, uh, either way, we are down to our last couple of packs here anyway. Steve Blake again. Like, I'm not really too bothered. I'd love it if I could clutch out a Richard Lewis or even get a little bit of MT back with a James Harden. CP3 and uh, Vince, I don't see them being worth much, but in general, like we only pulled two Amethysts out of the guts of 100 packs, which isn't great. Like I know, again, I pulled four Hardens, which is good. But aside from that, only two Amethysts. And I can't see a lot of these cards being too expensive, the rubies and stuff. I actually, I think, I wouldn't be that surprised if he does, they go and price fix Hedo, like. Someone will just price fix Hedo to annoy me. And like, basically, I, you guys know I haven't really gr Evo grinded a player in a long, long time in my main account. I am Evo grinding Hedo. And I'm not gonna be make, I'm not gonna be making Hedo video, video until I get him an Amethyst because I want him to at least have gold difficult shots so that I can go ahead there taking laners with him. <laughs> oh. NBA 2K, he will, he's not NBA 2K19 Hedo though, but I think we will get a ridiculous Hedo Turkle at some stage, considering this one can already speed boost. When he gets up to um, Amethyst, I think we're gonna get some, we're gonna get a ridiculous Hedo by the end of the year. So I think we got this pack and only one more left. Okay, Courtney Lee, not a great pull. All right, so let's go. We can clutch this one, we can clutch this. We can clutch this, we need Richard Lewis. Give me Richard Lewis. That's Amethyst, isn't it? I got an Amethyst is a lot better than other things. Um, yeah, it's an Amethyst. All right, I was like, is it pink time for a second? No, it's Amethyst. It's CP3. CP3 actually might not be a bad pull at all because he's actually he's actually good. He's like. I said it in my worth, like worth a video. He's like a poor man's John Stockton. So I'm gonna send him to the auctions. I wanna see what Chris Paul goes for. So position, point guard, color, amethyst theme, spotlight, Dwight Howard. I'm guessing 20-ish K. What that cheap? He's that cheap. Oh man. 13k? 10k! I might as well discard him at this stage, like. He's 5k! Wow. I'll hold him. He might go up in price. But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, that's the video. We didn't get screwed that badly. And that's saying something. I have a 2k saying you didn't get screwed that badly is like saying it's been the most successful thing ever. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.